Jeremy Howe on how high Collingwood can jump in 2018. Collingwood didn't play in September last year. Again. But like other lowly teams, they have drawn confidence from what happened in the finals. What the Tigers did to win the flag after missing the eight the year before. Coming on top of what the Bulldogs did in 2016 to win from outside the top four. Has reshaped what is possible for all teams. When you have not played finals for the past four years of rebuilding. That is as encouraging as anything. The Bulldogs broke the chain of, a team can't win it from outside the top four, and Richmond. There was not much talk of them before the season but then going into the finals and through. The finals they were by far the best team, Collingwood defender Jeremy Howe said. Richmond was just a team of role players who really got the job done when they needed to. They were doing the basics better than anyone. It was a really simple but effective game plan, and they improved it on the big stage. It just gives everyone hope that no matter where you think you are, you definitely have the opportunity to get it done. As revealed last week in The Age, Howe has extended his contract for three years after this season. He arrived at Collingwood a forward and wingman and is not fearful of the tap on the shoulder. To return to the forward line after playing his best football in defense. Now Darcy Moore is following his path from forward to defender and Howe expects him to have a huge impact. He's been like a big sponge coming to Lyndon Dunn and myself for that center half back role. He reads the play quite well, is very good in the air. So that will be a super strength for him. While Howe was among the leading intercept mark takers in the AFL last season, he does not think Moore's arrival and license to be an attacking marking defender also will change his own role. You want as many guys down there as possible who can intercept the ball. Howe said on Monday, you've only got to look at West Coast, who have multiple players who can really win the ball back in that back half. The way the game is going, as soon as you win the ball in the back half and as soon as you can get it forward, as quick as you can, it seems to be a really good avenue of scoring. Moore has had an interrupted preseason because of an Achilles injury while Howe has also pulled back from the main group as he battles a small calf issue. He expects to be ready for the first JLT series match in four weeks. Two, Collingwood's Darcy Moore struggling with ongoing Achilles tendon problem. Darcy Moore, the 22-year-old who holds one of the keys to Collingwood's revival, has been battling an Achilles injury that has become a growing concern for club. Resigned coach Nathan Buckley, who admitted last week that Moore has had a less than perfect Lead up to 2018, has been open about Moore's new role as a defender in the upcoming season. While Collingwood are playing down Moore's problematic Achilles. He is training at 75% capacity and has played no part in any match simulation since. Christmas. He did not play in last Saturday's scratch match. Moore's teammate Daniel Wells, two-time Brownlow medalist Chris Judd and former Fremantle superstar Matthew Pavlich have been some of the higher-profile footballers to struggle with an Achilles problem, although all three suffered the issues later in their careers. Leading sports medico Dr. Peter Larkins, however, said younger players like Moore can still be susceptible to the injury particularly taller players. Any running athlete can have troubles with it. It's not always the older players that get it. It's not a good sign, Larkins told Fairfax Media.
The one thing we know about tendons is that they're one of the slowest tissues to repair. Your fitness can be there but in terms of conditioning, as far as playing, it's more difficult. He's only got six weeks to condition. It's certainly not ideal but it's not the end of the world if it's just soreness. The pies say they're not concerned and that more will increase his loads as his soreness reduces. In better news for Collingwood, fellow forwards Jamie Elliott and Alex Fasolo are both on schedule in their respective rehabilitations. Fasolo shoulder, is seen as a good chance to take part in the upcoming JLT preseason competition, while the Pies say Jamie Elliott ankle, is on track to play early in the season. Proper, possibly as early as round one. Larkins believes Moore's preseason luck means he will find it difficult to hit his straps. Early in the season. It sounds like a broken record. But if a player doesn't have a good preseason he's unlikely to have a good first half of the season, Larkins said. If you're having a poor preseason, you're certainly not likely to have a strong start. The problems with an Achilles tendon is that it's likely to flare up with the wrong type of load. Collingwood's preseason match schedule officially begins in week two of the JLT series. When they take on Greater Western Sydney on Thursday, March 1. They then play the Western Bulldogs a week later in Mo. Before their round one blockbuster against Hawthorne at the MCG on Saturday, March 24.